by everyone. Uh, of course, the latest news coming out of the club now is that Peter Cech is joining Chelsea as sporting director when his career at Arsenal finishes. Um, a lot of people are not happy about this. A lot of Arsenal fans are not happy about this. But I'm sure this decision was made when he uh, actually announced his retirement, I think this this whole it's just that it's come out now. It's not very good timing, I'm, I admit. Um, if it's down to me, right, the first choice keeper for me uh, in this scenario is is Bert Leno. I mean, uh, but if Peter Cech is playing, I have no reason to doubt his professionalism, and I would be very happy for him to play in the chat in the Europa League final next week and the reason is I also look at it as this um, <sighs> sorry yes, excuse me I've got a really bad cough and cold at the moment the reason I um, I agree with this is because he's a foot he's a proper proper pro pro professional and he will want to end his career with a trophy, have no doubt about that. Yeah, have no doubt in your mind that he'll want to finish his career as a trophy, and he'll play to his best of his ability in the final. And so, people say um, he made he's going to throw it. I can't see any reason why he would want to do that. At the end of the day, he's, a pr he's playing for Arsenal Football Club. Yeah, forget all the rest. I don't even think uh, Emery would have. Um, Emery must have known about this. I think the whole club knows about it. He didn't. He he was he played really well against Valencia in the semi final. Didn't let us down, and I don't see why he would let us down in the final really. But I mean, I'd like to know what you all think out there because um, I'm looking on Twitter. I mean, I'm I'm hearing people uh, saying that. It's not a good thing. He's a traitor. He's not a traitor. We knew he was going. We knew he was leaving. We knew he was leaving at the end of the season. And at the end of the day, we're not going to offer him the contract at the Sports Direct. He's got to go somewhere. He's never really been... He was only here, really, if you look at it, he was only really here because Chelsea didn't want him anymore. They weren't wanted uh, Courtois. And he wanted to play first-team football. He wanted to stay in London. But what you've got to say, when he has been here, he's fully been fully committed to our football club. And you can't doubt that. You cannot doubt that. He's really gave he's gave everything. I know he's not been the same player that he was when he was at Chelsea. I thought he was a great at Chelsea. But I still think he was a top keeper at Arsenal as well. But not as not to the same level that he was at Chelsea. So at the end of the day, I'm happy for him to see how the final. I think we've got more pressing issues like um, defensive problems in front of him that need to be sorted out before that final. And hopefully on the day, we can win a trophy and say farewell to Pedacek and then let him start his new career as sporting director at Chelsea. Anyway, I just want to leave it at that. Uh, I, feel that my, I think he should play in the final. If it was my choice, but because it's now, also because it's a, a decision made by the the coach that he was the cup goalkeeper, you can't disrespect that decision. And can you imagine, can you imagine if now Emery says to him, well, we're not playing you in the final, when after the agreement they had. Right, we've got a, a, he's probably one of the few leaders in our dressing room, yeah? Can you imagine the other players, well, how they're looking at it? When they see he's been uh, when the when the coach says you can't play in the final, it's not a good look, is it? So let's let's go on with it. Let's go and win on next Wednesday. We can win whatever. We're in red. We're in the red colours. We're all big Chelsea. Don't worry. Take care, everyone. See you soon.